KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition for Thursday, the 7th of November. This is James Spann. Got a cold front on the way. That brings some rain in here this afternoon and tonight. Colder air tomorrow. Much colder air next week. Maybe record lows possible by the middle of the week. Check it out. There's the upper air look. Very uh, deep, cold vortex over Canada propelling a series of cold fronts down this way. The first one coming in here tonight. That was the radar early this morning at 454. Rain north and west of Alabama. That rain will come in here this afternoon and early tonight. We're in the 60s across Alabama. On the other side of that front, you've got 38 at St. Louis. And that thing should be pushing through here late tonight around midnight. Flash flood watches for parts of Arkansas, Oklahoma, South Missouri. Winter weather advisories and a few scattered pockets out west and up north. Things are quiet for the east. No severe storms expected through tonight. There might be some thunder somewhere, but probably not much in Alabama. The air should be pretty stable. And then tomorrow, much of the country in very cool, stable air. Here's the rain for the next seven days. Numbers are coming up across the southeast United States. And this is suggesting rain amounts between one and two inches. And keep in mind, this is between now and Thursday morning of next week, and there is great uncertainty about any rain next week, as you'll see. So let's dive into this and take a look at the dailies on modeling. This is the GFS, the 06E run at 3 o'clock this afternoon. Vortex to the north, cold front passing through, pushed down here by a 10,000 or 10,000, 1,035 millibar high that's over Iowa. Here's the high res NAM. At 2 o'clock this afternoon, rain should be in progress over about the northern third of the state. 6 o'clock, the rain pushing on down to the south. And by midnight, everything's pretty much out of here. So we're getting the main window for rain, noon to midnight. Rain amounts with this event under one half inch for most, and again, no severe weather. Tomorrow will be a sunny day, a noticeably cooler day with highs between 50 and 53 Pretty good north wind, but again, the sun should be out in full force. Saturday, we start the day around freezing. The high should be close to 60. Picture-perfect fall day for that Bama LSU game in Tuscaloosa, 2.30 kickoff. Sunday, again, we start the day in the 30s. The high should be in the mid-60s. The sky will be sunny. Monday, here comes a 1,045 millibar high. Crossing down into the Dakotas. Very cold air. Cold front approaching. We'll probably see some rain with that Monday night. But the moisture is going to be limited. And this is Tuesday morning at 6 o'clock. And this run of the GFS basically dries everything up and shows nothing. We'll check the European Tuesday morning at 6 o'clock. And it's wetter. Suggesting there will be rain here. Uh, Monday night, maybe early Tuesday. And you can see the chance of a few flurries or ice pellets in the back edge of that over Tennessee. But again, uh, typically when this kind of setup comes through here, no impact at all. If that happens by 9 o'clock, there maybe could, could be a few flurries over the Tennessee Valley of North Alabama, but no impact. And then by 4 o'clock, we're dry and we're cold. Uh, temperatures will probably fall during the day Tuesday. And uh, this is suggesting temperatures should be in the upper 30s over the Tennessee Valley, low 40s at Birmingham. Good north wind. It's going to be a raw, cold, blustery day. And then Wednesday, we're very cold and dry. Uh, we'll start the day down in the low 20s, right at record levels. Uh, we could break a 108-year-old record Wednesday morning. These are the anomalies, and that is very cold air over the eastern half of the country. Here's a week from today, Thursday the 14th. Now, the GFS shows a well-defined short wave coming through the Gulf Coast and a batch of rain coming up here in here, but the European shows nothing. So, again, uncertainty abounds out here. But, again, the big story, forget all this other stuff. It, it's just cold. That is highly certain. 
This is out 10 days. This is Saturday the 16th, a little ridge building here, and that looks dry and maybe temperatures a bit warmer by then. This is the rain for Birmingham off the European Ensemble. Really, the members are all over the board. Some members are at four inches. Some are at a half inch. The mean about an inch and a half over the next 15 days. These numbers coming off the uh, European, and again, as you look at the numbers on Tuesday, understand that high of 56, that's going to be at like 12.01 a.m. Temperatures will fall Tuesday into the 30s most likely and maybe stay there all day. And then Wednesday, it's got us down at 25. Here's the GFS Ensemble. It's got Wednesday morning's low at 21. So again, uh, it's, it rarely ever gets that cold around here this early in the season. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.